in the transport yeah. before they remove material to finish it over here. Exactly. And the, the one that's still attached to the granite quarry mm -hmm. is 1,200 tons. 1,200 tons. Yes. So it's three okay. times bigger than this. Three times bigger than this. Mm -hmm. More than two and a half times bigger than this. So they would have moved it. The of course. Why are they going to cut it unless they had the ability to move it? They right. Must, they must have. Yeah. Yeah, insane. Uh, there's a ram says a second statue that's uh, 900 tons. Yes, uh, 1,000 was the base. N now it's a nice 9,000. Also, the alignment with the coordinate direction and the alignment with the. You know how they think it was. Uh, Place? Uh, raised? Raised? Yeah. Yeah, with mid, mid mud, mud break, break ram and then a hole and then a door underneath. They will fill the pit with sand and then they will push this one up. And then put it like it, its edge on the hole, and then open the door, the sand will come, and the obelisk will land. Oh, yeah, perfect. And then it will be perfectly aligned in the four coordinate directions, and also <laughs> the base. <laughs> of the, of yeah, the perfect. Perfect so on the base, in the middle. It worked in graphic. Aligned with uh, it worked uh, with in graphic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it worked in, in graphic. graphic. They can see like two men are dragging it. This huge step and going up there. Uh, yeah, they're going up there. Yeah, but then the real world is going to be like, Ooh. yeah, no problem. Yeah. yeah. And then they chisel, the face is perfect. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because yeah. they use the sand and a piece of rock and water oh, to polish the set. So I see. You didn't know this? No, I missed <laughs> that part. That must have been a good, uh, a good few thousand workers polishing. <laughs> For 20 years or something. Uh, they will never get it that shiny. Yeah, oh, no doubt. With the water, it will look shiny. But once the water is dry, it will look rough. white, rough, and mm. with lots of scratches. From yeah, the lots of scratches, yeah. 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 This is perfectly polished. And it's aligned to true north. Aligned to the, yeah, all the coordinate oh, direction. The, how, we are how going well out. Check it with the compass. Perfectly aligned. Perfect like the pyramid. The, the obelisk is another shape of the Ben Ben shape, yeah. which is the pyramidian shape. Yeah, the pyramidian also shape, yeah. from the mythology or from the, the city of Un. But you can see this is not slaves pulling on ropes. There's no way. Let's There's go no see way. the mark of the tubular drill. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no way. Yeah. No ropes. Yeah, no ropes. Yeah, like, um, mud mud yeah, mud break with sand in between. Yeah, and they hold it in the top, and they just take out the sand from the side. The the width of, of the width just make it I don't own. think so. No way. Maybe no, this is the no best way, way for, for I don't for think so. raising <laughs> such. <laughs> <laughs> I don't <laughs> think so. No. You don't yes. think so. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, I know, it's but just a theory. They don't just a theory. Right, where they use tools we we don't know. Right. Some techniques we don't know. Yes. It's close to us. Yeah, no doubt. These surfaces. Let's go see that huge drill. Okay. Guys, we don't have more than five minutes because we have a schedule at the boat and other excursions. Welcome, everybody. We're live from the temple at Karnak during the first annual Resonance Academy Dela Gathering with Nassim Haramein and the Resonance Science Foundation team. We are hearing from the Minister of Antiquities of this site who is giving us special permission to see sites that have been closed to the public. This is an obelisk that is estimated to be over 400 tons. And as Nassim was saying, this is not something that you can just cut simply and drag with vine ropes. And so when he was talking about hundreds of people polishing it, he was being sarcastic. <laughs> and here's a very tall friend <laughs> next to a very tall obelisk. So from everybody at the Resonance Science Foundation and delegates from 18 countries around the world, we welcome you to this Facebook Live. My name is Jamie Janover, and I'm an ambassador for the foundation, helping to share the information. It's been an honor to be in this group. The people that have been touring with us are all incredible resonant people that have sought out this information. And the guides from Comet School have been 
absolutely incredible at showing us some of the most unusual far away and hidden places that the average tourist would never see. So we have huge debt of gratitude to them and Mohammed Ibrahim and Patricia and Yosef and all the staff at the Resonance Science Foundation and the Resonance Academy. Here we are along the promenade at the Temple of Karnak on December 23rd in the morning when the sun rises. The sun rises in perfect alignment with this causeway over there. And there's two obelisks. There is a third that broke when they tried to move it. I'm going to walk up to the antiques minister of the site. He's in charge of the whole temple of Karnak. And uh, we'll just hear what he's explaining to Teresa, the director of the Resonance Academy. To hold, the, 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 to, to hold it, to raise it, to raise it uh, from the ground. We used to rub it from three sides, top, middle, and bottom, and raise it using stones, or using their hands, with hundreds of them, to hold it. To stand uh, only the middle has what but we are not sure if they could to control such thing. And all the not. sides are closed. But what they use for us magical. Yes, they have some advanced uh, technology that yeah, maybe allow have. the tablets yeah. maybe. that we don't know now. Yeah. Yeah. For that sure, makes more for sense. sure, because what, what they did for us, mm -hmm. we, we can do we it. We couldn't do it for them. Yeah. So they had so something then. We don't know. We have, they have some technique, some way. It just gone, and we can't find it. Can't see it. Hey, Jamie. Hey, say hello. We are actually Facebook Live right now. Hey. Really? Hello. Yeah. And so there's 275 people watching right now. And yeah. oh this will be seen by a lot of people on the Resonance Science I Foundation page. Cool. Actually, it's in the Sims page. <laughs> Great. Great. Well, I hope all the delegates that are joining from home, well, we really love you, you all, and we've been missing you, and we're glad to feel your energy yeah. here. Sending love and light from Karnak Temple at Luxor. Thank you so much for hosting us yeah. and showing us the special places. Yeah, this is a very thank rare you. chance. Yeah, thank you, and welcome, welcome, and thank you for being here. Enjoy your, your Awesome. Time. Hey, guys, we're on Facebook Live right now. Great. I'm a delegate, yeah. and I'm loving welcome it. Yeah, yeah <laughs> delegate. This is we Zach. Love you. We love all Zach of you. is an archaeologist, Thank and you. he's got incredible knowledge Thank you. Of, Thank you very much. of the ancient sites and the geology as well. Great. And we the history. Waiting for you to come. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you guys haven't been to Egypt, uh, I can't, you know, recommend it enough. Yeah. You guys should see how many hearts are flying by uh, on this feed. Oh, Everybody's clicking the love button <laughs> more than the like button. So, right. sending love from Karnak. And say, here's Muhammad Ibrahim. I didn't visit all the sites had car giant carvings in the world, but I can claim that these are the biggest carvings ever made. Yeah. I think this is the biggest size of carvings ever made. Anyone here know or have seen carvings bigger than this? That is a mistake from the artist. The artist who did this great job is going to do a mistake. No, because they can easily chisel that layer later. But they didn't, because they wanted us to see that layer and to understand that the king and his car are together. Anyone? 
الملك بيقول لك ان هي غلطه طب ماشي غلطه ما تشبهاش ليه؟ ان هو الملك هتلاقي عند مناخيره وراسه في خط معاه في حد وراه فهو بيقول لك هو لا هي تصغير يعني اعاده نحو طب ما ما كانش ما كان ينحت لان ده هي من خارجيه تمام سنين اللي عملت كانتها ممتاز هيعمل الرابعة تعبانه كده والملك نفسه برضه في الحيطه جوه كده في شويه نفس الكلام غريبه طب ما انا سهل انحتها تاني هي الحته الحته جوه استخدمت بعد كده ده آه. منظر رئيسي بالظبط والنحو ورا منها المفروض مراكب مراكب الحته بتاع ست اللي فيها ست اه اه معادي استخدامها بالظبط ومنها عاملين نحو تاني فهنا بقى هنا هو القصد بقى ليه ده سهل سوري انت سبيكينج نورفيك It's okay. <laughs> If you speak English, then more people maybe can understand. Yes, yes. Look, we are talking about why yeah. we claim that he made a mistake and why we don't admit that it's not a mistake. It was made deliberately like this. Right. Because easily, if it was a mistake and they remade the carving, they could easily chisel that extra layer, that, that mistake. So now we can recall our story again about the bent pyramid. And they still insist it was a mistake. So it seems that they try to accuse the ancient Egyptian to be or to do lots of mistakes. But that is not the truth. We, that was made deliberately to let us ask why they made like two figures. One is very clear and one just behind the other. Do we have something similar to this? Yes. In the crypt of Dandara yesterday, we have the same thing. And I saw some of you the picture. If you can, you can include this gem in your video. Here is the picture I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. Look, here it is. Come closer. Just look, this is the same thing. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. It is an, a face behind the same like that okay so we this is what repeated mistakes no okay so it's a mistake to call it a mistake okay yes thank you so much Mohammed, for all your help and for hosting us it's been incredible what is that the honeybee that's a honeybee yes in a strange shape a little bit but it's a honeybee and it is its name bee Being in Egypt is like walking back in time. We're starting to discover that a lot of the history books that we may have read when we were kids are incorrect. That many of these ancient temples were made before the pre the before the dynastic times. Yes. Temple of Karnak, Egypt. Resonance Science Foundation's Resonance Academy Delegate Gathering 2017. We will be announcing the destination of next year's Delegate Gathering very soon. We hope you can join us at yet another epic site with Nassim Haramein and the entire faculty as we find evidence of ancient technology around the world technology that we hope to bring back because humanity needs it at this time. No, I, we have to go. Sorry. Thank you. Here we go. Facebook Live. See you. Bye. Bye. Glad you could join us. We'll end in perfect alignment with the causeway at Temple of Karnak. Much love.